On the eve of the royal wedding, there is still much to take in. There are also plenty of new details to report less than 24 hours out, and we are not done with the news. We want to give you a look at what tomor tomorrow morning will look like, from the wedding to the parade to the couple's first public, public kiss. To do that, we have our CBS News correspondents fanned out across the, the processional wedding route. Michelle Miller and Ben Tracy are there along the route. We want to begin, though, with Mark Phillips, who's standing by outside Westminster Abbey, where there are uh, there's a growing number of royal fans camped out there in what has essentially become a tent city mark. Those diehards were rewarded this morning with a glimpse of the bride and the best man. Yeah, they were. If there's a ground zero in this event, this is it. Uh, the tent city has been forming for a couple of days now, probably, I don't know, three or four hundred. It'll be well into the thousands by the time this happens tomorrow. This may be the most coveted bit of real estate on the planet right now. People still trying to get in. They did get a glimpse of the royal party coming to rehearsals here. We're right across the street from Westminster Abbey, and these are probably the best seats in the house, unless, of course, you're actually in the house. But this is where people will get, and us, will get the first glimpse of Kate, of the dress, of everything that you've just been talking about with Sharon Osborne. This is uh, really where the festivities, the celebration, and of course, this great marriage really begins. Erica. Not a bad spot for you to be, Mark. Thanks. And along the route on the Duke of York steps along the Mall, uh, which is the route that the newlyweds will take from Westminster Abbey to Buckingham Palace, we find Michelle Miller. Michelle, good morning. Good morning. A lot of setup along the Mall here at the Duke of York steps, uh, barricades and the like. This is uh, the place that leads up to the main boulevard that leads up to the Buckingham Palace. And Kate Middleton and uh, Prince William will travel along this route, not once, but twice, of course. First, Prince William, as he comes from Clarence House to the Abbey with his best man and brother, Prince Harry, in tow. And then, of course, Catherine Middleton will be escorted by her father on the way to the Abbey. Once the wedding is over, they will travel down the Horse Guards Parade, that street right there. They will turn onto the Mall. Hundreds of thousands of people expected, both uh, their subjects and visitors alike. Once their carriage actually passes this point, Police will allow the crowd to come in and spill into the mall. They will walk up to the palace gates. It will be quite a scene, already a scene out here, lots of tourists, and even one Kate Middleton and Prince Harry royal lookalike. So it's already fun out here. <laughs> and probably not the last ones you'll see, Michelle Miller. Thanks. We want to move up that route now to Ben Tracy, CBS News correspondent, who's standing outside of Buckingham Palace, where we will see essentially the grand finale of the parade. Right, Ben? This is the grand finale. You are right. The carriage will basically come up the mall here, as you guys have been saying, and end here at Buckingham Palace. We'll swing around and show you the palace. This whole area, this kind of processional area, built in 1911 to honor Queen Victoria, who actually made this palace a palace. She was the first royal to make it a royal residence. But what people are going to be looking for here is a particular moment. We are hoping the royal family comes out on the balcony that's up there on Buckingham Palace, and hopefully Prince William, his new Princess Catherine, Perhaps we'll share a kiss for the crowd, just like his parents did, Prince Charles and the late Princess Diana, back in 1981. And lest you think that any of this will go uncovered, take a look at this. This is the media encampment over here at Buckingham Palace, and this does not come cheap. Each one of these little slots costs about $100,000 per network. The good news, Erica, is I'm told that that is not coming out of our paychecks. So, <laughs> something to look forward to. <laughs> That's excellent news, and we'll be right up there in that perch tomorrow. I'll be stationed up there, so Ben, thanks.